Hello, in this video I will talk about how I get my stability when I'm leaning on the outside edge mainly, especially during the double push. So there is few uh, feelings you need to get, especially under your foot or inside the shoes, that, it, that will help you to get uh, this stability. Most of the time when we lean on the outside edge, uh, some skater or most of the skater at the moment actually, they like to feel the pressure in the under part of the shoes. They really get the support from the under part of the shoes. On my side, what I mostly recommend is to trust the inside part of your shoes when you are leaning in double push on the outside edge. I really trust this part of the, of the shoes and I like to make that the ankle is really in contact with this inside part of the shoes. This is how I trust and get uh, my balance to lean on the outside. If my balance is just in between the two layers of my shoes, outside and inner, and only focus on my under part, it's not bad, but in my opinion, you get little more trust when uh, you can lean focusing on the inside part of the shoe. So I really connect my ankle and get this pr little pressure like this on my shoes during all the um, all the outside moment and the balance on the outside part. To make this possible, there is still uh, some points that need to be super clear. You need that your shoes is high enough on the inner part. So if it's too low, uh, it's very hard to get the ankle support at the moment. And also really, really important for me is that your shoes, they need to be super stiff. So mine are like, like rock, they are really, really hard. I cannot almost move like this. And every time, for example, I try to skate with shoes that are softer here, I have more problem on my double push and it's harder for me to lean on the outside. It's also linked, of course, on your abilities uh, and your balance on, on a regular training. So you can always work your balance in, a, in fitness and stuff. So it will help you to improve this. But for me, the key point is really to have a higher shoes in the inside, super stiff, and to trust this part when you are in balance more than the under part. You can do both actually at the same time, but I'm more focused here compared to skater. I think Felix is more under his foot than uh, compared to me. So it can also change based on how your feet are built. We have many different uh, shape of feet. So the feeling can be a bit different for most of the people. For sure, I don't, I'm always looking the little detail uh, when I see some uh, skater uh, skating uh, technique and I see sometimes when they are on the outside edge and I can see sometimes the foot is a little bit like this kind of the ankle is in contact on the outside part so for me this is uh, kind of a weak point and I try to avoid this as much as possible to focus more on the inside part of the shoes to make sure so that my outside edge get a little easier Remember one of my vid video about uh, how to do the setting between uh, shoes and uh, uh, frame. Out there is the front and back setting, the side setting, and I talk quite often about the wedging like this. So here you can see I like to put a little piece of aluminium between my frame and my shoes on the outside, and it's really helping me to get in an easier way my outside edge. So check those uh, little footage from a different skater now and try to see if they are more focused on the under part of the shoes or if they focus more on the contact between the ankle and the inside part of the shoes. Thank you and see you in the next video.